In this video, I want to look at the basic way to copy and paste things here in our timeline. Now, in a previous video, we looked at making sub sequences, which is one way I like to do it, so in, out, and grab our sub sequence, throw it into a bin there, give it a name, and then we can reuse it over and over and over. We can load it up into our, you know, source monitor there, whatnot. But of course, we can also copy and paste things, uh, you know, the same way we do on our, uh, you know, on our operating system. So on your operating system, control C will copy and control V will paste. Now, if you're on Mac, that's command C and command V. All right. So I'm on Windows. So let's just say I'll select this clip here. So I just clicked on it there and I'll hit control C. Now we don't see anything, right? And I'll move my playhead back here and I'll hit control V. And there we go. I pasted that in right there. So maybe I want to uh, say this right here. I'll just hit control C after I selected it there. Move down here somewhere and hit control V. And right there it is. Now, of course, we can do multiples. We can also do, say, um, let's do an in here and an out there. And I'll make sure I have all of that selected. Oh, no, I might leave that off just for fun. Just for funsies, right? Control C to copy that. And then maybe we want that way uh, down here. Control V and that pastes all that in right down here. All right, exact copies. Okay, so now you have several ways that you can sort of copy and paste things. We have, of course, you know, that basic copy and paste there. We have our sub sequence uh, way we can do that. And of course, our copy and drag that we can do as well. Just remember, you can, you know, you can do it the in out method if you if you like the in out way, I and O. Just, uh, you know, check the tracks that you want there. Maybe I just want that. Control C. Again, come maybe here. Control V. And that paste it all in right there as well again you know i kind of like doing the sub sequence way i o you know it just it really depends on what you're doing and if you're going to be reusing it over and over and over control c control v is convenient for just a few things and by the way i could just hit, keep hitting control v control v control v and it keeps pasting that in over and over and over whatever is in my clipboard okay but like i was saying in out grab our sub sequence there then i can throw that up here and i can cut this in you know, over and over and over as as well. So there's a lot of things you can do there uh, with copy and paste. And also, by the way, I should also mention this here. So let's uh, take, say this part here. And uh, well, you know what, let's just select that. I'm just gonna select it. And I'm gonna hit Control C to copy it. Now we can come up here to our source monitor. I'll right click, come down here to clipboard contents. Pa pow And that pastes into our source monitor here, whatever we had copied to our clipboard. So then you could come in here and maybe mark an in and an out from there, right? And then uh, come down here and maybe, I don't know, put that in there or something. Insufficient source material there. Okay, that's because I have my marks on there. Get rid of that. And there we go. So you can do that as well. If you want to throw it up here and then sort of choose your uh, what video audio tracks you want. And like I said, you know, as we showed, you can do multiples. You can do it the in out way, or you can just, uh, you know, select them, select and then shift select a bunch of things here. Control copy, move down here, control V, pasted all that stuff in right there. All right, lots of things you can do. Again, right click and you can put the clipboard contents up here. All right, see that? Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. And, and also another thing you could do, is say, uh, now you don't have to do this, you don't have to do the in and out, but just for this example, I'll do in here, out there, and then I'll make a sub clip of that. So now I have a sub clip of this that I can you know load up here, or uh, which you know, I double click. Now it's over here, it's like a, it's actually more like a sub sequence because it completely uh, loaded up there, unlike a sub clip, which, uh, you know, a sub clip, if we grabbed it like this, and pull that down. That's a sub clip. So if I double click that, it's going to load it up here versus a sub sequence, which is a sequence. It's going to load it into our timeline there. All right. That's pretty much everything you need to know uh, about, uh, you know, the basic way to copy. Let's do this one more time. I'm just going to grab this here. Control copy. Now I'm going to load up a complete different sequence. Okay, now this is a totally different sequence here. Come right here. Control V. Now I've pasted in stuff from our let me monitor up here actually pasted in stuff from that previous copy that we did okay as you can see there or maybe i could want to load this one up for some reason completely different sequence control v it's still in my clipboard paste paste that in up here all right 
as you can see there, which is right there. All right, come down here, control V, paste in there, here, here. All right, so you can do all kinds of stuff. Of course, you could even, you know, get crazy, go to open bin and go to a completely different project, open, you know, open that up, copy something and maybe, uh, you know, put your clipboard contents in here and then go to a different sequence and, uh, you know, overwrite that in there. And like I said, we could open a bin, go to a completely unrelated uh, sequence. Well, I don't want to go up there. Say this here. And grab that bin there, of course. And then load that sequence up. So there we go. Completely, completely unrelated sequence. Maybe for some reason I want to mark it in and out there. All this stuff. Control C to copy that, right? Now I'll go back to, uh, I don't know. Let's go to this sequence here. Load that sequence up. And I want to control V that in there. All right. So copy and paste using control C and control V, or if you're on Mac, that's command C and command V. Really easy way to copy and paste things. You know, the basic way you would copy and paste things in your operating system, which works through pretty much every program you'll, you'll have on your computer. So there you go, another really quick and easy way to copy and paste things, tons of things, just one track, just one clip, you know, uh, several, several clips on your timeline, whatever, whatever you want, select your tracks, use the in out method or just select what you want and control C to copy, control V to paste. And you can also put your clipboard contents up here into your source monitor there. And you could further mark in and out there and then uh, cut that in or also make sub clips of, of that or sub sequences is what they really are. All right. So a quick and easy way to copy and paste here in Avid Media Composer.